Hey, welcome back. You know, Monday is the day that has been set aside to honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. And there are lots of activities here in the Coastal Bend that we want to tell you about that. My guest is Tracy Anderson Tejado from the South Shore Christian Church. And in just a moment, we're going to be talking about something that she's going to be a part of. Uh, before we do that, though, I want to take a moment here, if you'll let me, and remind everybody about the march that's coming up on Monday. In fact, if we can put the information here uh, up on the screen, this is the 34th MLK March. It's happening at noon Monday. As always, it begins over at the Nueces County Courthouse over on Leopard Street, and the folks will gather there, and then they will march to the Episcopal Church of the Good Shepherd. That's over on South Upper Broadway. And we want to uh, give a, a big uh, word of thanks to the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. They always do a great job of organizing that event. That, of course, is for everyone. Now, mm -hmm. before that happens, the YWCA is going to be once again hosting their Racial Justice Forum. And we want to tell you about that. So we can come back on camera here and we're going to talk about that. I know you have a significant role in that. What's the role that you're going to be playing? I am actually going to be the moderator okay. of the discussion. Um, that kind of came, I was not expecting to do that. <laughs> well, um, if you're a moderator, that means there must be a pretty good panel that's put together that you get to interact with, right? I am very excited yeah. um, about our panel. Um, Dr. Gloria Balaye Benibo is mm -hmm. going to be on the panel. Um, Karen Costanzo, the city uh, planner, senior city planner, Pastor Don Lavelle from uh, Corpus Christi Christian Fellowship is going to be on the panel. Um, Dr. Nancy Vera, who is the president of the Corpus Christi American Federation of Teachers. Um, uh, and those are gonna be our panel now, members. Now, what's this about? For somebody who's wondering why they should attend, what's the goal of the day here? Basically, we are just trying to have some fruitful discussion uh, about racial justice and racial equity. Okay. Um, part of our theme is calling in and calling out. And basically what we're going to be talking about is the idea of calling in uh, people when they have done something that is um, offensive mm -hmm. or, or racially offensive or something like that, calling them in and helping them to see that, hey, this is not right, the, the things that you're doing and the things right. that you've said. Um, um, as and we are also talking about calling out, which is something that uh, we are really familiar with in our social media laden society. Uh, that's when somebody does something or a corporation does something and they're called to the carpet. Yeah, and, and I, I would imagine here the goal is again. Uh, promoting a sense of unity here. We're, we're not doing this to separate folks, but we do want to recognize some of the realities that are still in our society. That is absolutely correct. Um, actually, what I like to think about when uh, talking about these kinds of things is the beloved community mm -hmm. by Martin Luther King Jr. Well, he coined the phrase, and basically that's about a, a society that's based on um, justice, equal opportunity, and love of your fellow um, hum humans. And, and what great ideals for us to continue to pursue. Thank you for that. That's going to be again happening Monday, the YWCA over on Corona. They'd love for you to RSVP 830 to 1130. There's the number and there's an email address. They're going to let out in time for you to then make it over to the uh, MLK mark, March. And so hopefully you can get to do both of those. And by the way, a $10 uh, donation would, would be appreciated when you go to the Racial Justice mm -hmm. Forum. Thank mm -hmm. you for that and good luck with your role and uh, good luck with the event on Monday. Now, something else I wanna mention here is that for the first time, the city of Corpus Christi will actually be recognizing the MLK Day holiday. That means that all city offices are going to be closed on Monday. The decision was actually just made during Tuesday's city council meeting. Members unanimously voted in favor of the motion, which from here on out declares that the third Monday of each January will be the Martin Luther King Civil Rights Day of Service. So some exciting news there as well.